Here we go, folks. It's time for your Twitter reaction to Livingston 2, Celtic 2, here from the Tony Macaroni Arena. Uh, we'll start with Sarcastic Mr Fox. Wish we could defend like that. Aye, that's a good point tonight. Um, we've seen again how difficult it is for us to come here. Martin said it in his post-match that styles make football matches and Livingston's style is just kryptonite for us. We, we just can't seem to deal with it at all. I thought we started really well in the game tonight. I thought Callum McGregor scores a fantastic goal and you think for there, if we go and get another one, we can control the game and we'll have nothing to worry about tonight. But we give away one of the poorest goals you'll ever see. Um, a long throw. We know Livingston play a long throw. We should have been preparing for it all week. Fraser Foster comes. He should just catch it. He's 8 foot 12. He should just catch it. Um, and you can tell the half the, the totally half-hearted claims for a foul. He knew he should have caught it. And he should, uh, listen, he's been brilliant. But if there's one weakness in his game that's coming and collecting crosses, that was a throw-in. That wasn't a driving cross. It wasn't a whipped cross. That was a throw-in. Um, he's got to catch it. And that gives Livingston a lifeline. And they haven't conceded a lot of goals here at all. I think they've, they've won their last seven home games in all competitions and only conceded two goals in that time before coming into tonight. So we give them that lifeline and then it makes the game so, so difficult for us. Uh, Connor Bailey, with all, con all things considered, is a great result for us in the waiting nine in a row. We will take any points we can, uh, considering they've had eight, eight clean sheets in their last ten. Again, that highlights how well Livingston can defend. They make it so difficult for you. Um, but that's where, if we could defend properly against a big physical team, then that game would have been easy tonight. Livingston wouldn't be our bogey team if we could defend properly against a physical team. Julian was a bag of nerves all night. Lyndon Dykes has got his number. He's under his skin. We give away another shockingly poor goal two minutes after half time. And I don't know what Julian's thinking. Fouls, Dykes, it could have been a penalty if, I don't know, I couldn't see if it was definitely inside the box, but it was a foul. If Lyndon Dykes went down, it was a foul. But he stayed in his feet, cut it back for Scott Robinson. It was 2-1 to Livingston. And then we're really toiling because they don't concede a lot of goals. And you just think it's going to be one of those, one of those nights. We did get the goal. Um, I think creatively, we, we created much more than we ever have done here in the previous games. When we've came to this stadium since Livingston have been promoted. Created a lot more. But we can't defend as poorly as that and expect to win. Um, we've got to be more resilient against physical teams we've seen it against Copenhagen last week as well we've got to deal better with physicality we've got to uh, Tom Oliver, Livia are the most organised team in the league far more so than us or the Zombies, 2-2 two -two is a solid result given the last time we got our arse handy to us we never gave up and uh, have to give credit for, to Livy for punching well above their weight this season aye, you need to give credit to Livy they are horrible at times um, they're horrible all the time to be fair they know every trick in the book Um been down injured, the, the, the boys in the dugout are holding the ball to, to delay Celtic throw-ins and stuff and they are horrible to play against but they're well organised, they do punch above their weight and I'll tell you something else, they punished our mistakes tonight again, like I said after the Copenhagen game, if we punished uh, the opponent's mistakes as much as they punished ours we'd have won that game comfortably, you think about the chances we had in the first half Eduardo okay, he's unlucky, he hits the post but if we were as ruthless with their mistakes as they were with ours, it would have been a lot more comfortable. Uh, Graham Bell, <coughs> well, who would have thought a 2-2 two -two draw would have uh, set us further ahead? 13 points, game setting match. Personally, hate that pitch. However, here we go, nine in a row. Uh, Jolly Boy, appalling show by Julian again at that ground. Undisciplined and a total lack of focus that set the tone. Two cartoon goals, but it looks like a good point now. Aye, listen, we've got away with one tonight. I don't think, I say from an attacking point of view, it wasn't the worst performance in the world, particularly given how well Livingston defend, given the, the surface and everything that comes with it. I thought we created enough to, to win the game probably, but we defended so, so poorly. And I thought at times in the second half, we let Livingston get to us, and we shouldn't have done that. But listen, Rangers have lost to Hamilton. I was just saying to a boy at work today, he said, who is it Rangers playing again? He said, Hamilton. I said, aye. If there's one game, even though Rangers are struggling, if there's one game, they'll beat Hamilton the night at home. Um, they haven't. That's let us away with that. We've actually extended the lead with a disappointing 2 2 draw. So we are closing in on 9 in a row. That's the real positive we can take for tonight because there wasn't too many of them. Like the video, comment with your own thoughts below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on Saturday for St. Man. Thank you.